Good day everyone, today we will be discussing about solving word problems involving division of fractions. Let us find out or let us recall the steps in solving word problems. Again, you need to think, you understand the problem, you know what is asked in the problem, the given facts and the word clue, plan what operation are we going to use and then solve. Don't forget to use the ESSA form. Now let's solve the story problem. Now our Third is having an online class for a total of 8 10 hour. Now every 2 5th hour, he is stuck. Therefore, if we are going to divide so that we will know how many times did he stop, we are going to divide and what should be our dividend and divisor. Be careful in in putting the equation of what is the dividend and also the divisor. So the total is 8 10. So that's, that is our dividend. So we have 8 tenths, and then we divide it to every 2 fifth hours. So in solving word problem involving division, you have to be careful of what is dividend and what is the divisor. So the dividend is the total, and the divisor is that's what you are going to divide. So we have in uh, the, the steps in dividing, this one is a simple fraction, all you have to do is to get the the uh, reciprocal of the divisor so we have we just copy copy the dividend which is 8 10 then get the reciprocal of 2 5th which is 5 over 2 then proceed to multiplication process so when you multiply you just multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominator so you have 40 over 20 that's an improper fraction so you divide it 40 divided by 20 we have 2, 40. So, there is no remainder. Therefore, there is no fraction. But it's just only a whole number. Therefore, the answer is 2. Our third stop for 2 times for his online class during that hour or during that day. Now, um, in, in dividing, you need to be careful of the dividend and the divisor because you cannot interchange that because the divisor should be the one that you're going to get the reciprocal. If you interchange that, the answer will be different. We are going to interchange the divisor and the dividend. So you have to be careful. Let's have more examples. How many, how many 116 pieces of paper can be cut from a 4 8 piece of paper. In this given problem, let's try to find out what is the dividend. The dividend here is the total which is the 4 8 pieces of piece of paper because of the word from. It says here that how many 116 pieces of paper can be cut from a 4 8. So the dividend is the 4 8. Then, we are going to divide 2, 1 over 16. So, we just have to copy the dividend. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Proceed to multiplication. So, we have 16 times 4. That is 24, 64 over 8. Now, 64, it's over 8. It's an improper fraction. So, since it's uh, the, b the numerator is bigger than the denominator, then divide. So, 8. 64 no remainder therefore the answer is a whole number which is 8 so how many 116 pieces you will have 8 pieces of 116 piece of paper so that's the answer next how many 4 8 meter pieces of lace can be cut from a 14 meters of lace again it's almost the same pattern as the first problem where the word from so, 40 meters is the total. You divide it to the 4 eighths. Now, if it's a whole number, you just put 1 as a denominator. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. It becomes 8 over 4. So, we have, you multiply 40 times 8. That is 320 divided by 4. So, this one is a big number. You divide now 320. Divide 4, that is 8, 32, there's 0, then 0, 
No more remainder. It's also a whole number. So how many 4 8 meter pieces of lace can be cut from a 40 meters of lace? The answer is 80 pieces of 4 8 meters of lace can be cut from the 40 meters piece of lace. Next, Ella has 6 meters of cloth. She will be she will use it for making scarves. How many scarves can she make if each scarf needs two thirds meter? Now this one, the total, Ella has a total of six meters of cloth. Then that would be your dividend. So six. We divide it to each scarf ha can um, needs two thirds. Okay, so how many scarves can he um, make or can she make rather? So we have 6 over 1. Then uh, you multiply the reciprocal of the divisor. We just stay over 2. So that is 18 over 2. Then you divide it. 18 did by divide 2. We have 9. No remainder. So the answer is 9. So there are 9 scarves. So in solving word problem, you make you should make it in complete answer. So we have the equation, then you you put the uh, the solution, and then you state and write the complete answer. Next, Jenny has ten and one half kilograms of mangoes. She kept four kilograms for her family and shared the rest equally among her two brothers. How many kilograms of mangoes which will each brother get now in this problem there is there is two operations that we are going to find or that we're going to use so we have if jenny has 10 and one half kilogram of mangoes and then and then she will divide it with her among her two brothers but be, before dividing the 10 and one half kilogram she kept first four kilograms so we need to subtract Okay, so we need to subtract first 10 and 1 half minus 4. So you have 10 minus 4, that is 6 and 1 half. Now 6 and 1 half kilograms will be divided among our two brothers. So let's divide. How do we divide if it's a mixed number? All you have to do is to make this an improper fraction. So this will become 12 plus 1. 13 over 2 then get the reciprocal of 2 which is 1 half then multiply the numerators and the denominator so that is 13 over 4 the answer is an improper fraction so you divide 13 divided by 4 that is 3 12 then there's a remainder so that's the new fraction the whole number is 3 that's the quotient so we have 3 and then the remainder is 1, copy the denominator. Therefore, each brother will get 3 and 1 fourth kilograms. That's the answer. So these are just some of the applications of division of fraction. In dividing fractions, you have to be careful if um, there is other operation included in the word problem and also, you have to be careful of what is the dividend and what is the divisor. Be also careful of the keywords used of whatever operation that you are going to perform. It's either addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division.